and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Control in Historic. We've tried this one time before and it was okay, but I like this list that we're playing here better than the one that I had put together. This list here is a donation deck from a viewer that's been playing Grixis Control in Historic. And I like what we got going on here. We, of course, are going Fires of Invention because Fires of Invention with Nicol Bolas the Ravager is really powerful. And, of course, with Dragon God and all this stuff. Like, this is definitely a very good Fires of Invention deck. But a couple of key changes that I, I like. I like how we've added in a Sphinx of Foresight. I think this, this card is pretty powerful with uh, Fires of Invention. We've seen that in Standard, and it's a good 4-drop. You can see how we're really loaded on the 4-drops here. But then we got a Drawn from Dreams that helps load up with the Fires of Invention too, and a Mastermind's Acquisition. This was a card that I was missing. Mastermind's Acquisition, for those of you that didn't really play with this card in Standard, can go and get any card at all in your 75. You can get anything in your main deck, anything in your sideboard. So you can have Unmoored Ego game one, kind of like Fae of Wishes, but then also you can get all the stuff from, from your main deck. You want to go find Fires of Invention. Good. You want Nicol Bolas the Ravager. You can go grab creatures. Do you need an extra land? You want Search for Escanta. You want Ugin. You know, it's just kind of perfect. You need your Sweeper. So we have Acquisition uh, that works super well with Fires. So we got one of those in here as well. But I kind of like all these, like, kind of just different one-ofs and everything and ones and twos and stuff like that because if we can kind of get a lot of card advantage going, we flip as Kanta, activating as Kanta. We have a lot of different things. Same with Narset activating this. We have a lot of different targets to grab instead of just the same few cards that we hope those few cards are good. So Because the you know how games work. Games... Uh, play out differently all the time. So we have different targets uh, to go get uh, with our with our cards, different ones and two us, depending on how the game looks. So let's give this a try. Let's We're going to just play over in Mythic because that's the way to play uh, two out of three. Uh, time restraints. We're probably going to play four matches with Grixis Control, but Grixis Control should um, you know, take up a good amount of time for the four matches, hopefully, at least. If we're winning. So here we go. Yeah, we need land. We got 26 in here. As far as lands go. We're on the draw. If I was on the play, I would mulligan. But we're on the draw and we have the fires. That's the other thing is we have fires of invention. If we didn't have this, I would mulligan. <clears throat> so all we have to do is draw two lands. And then we can drop fires into all this other stuff um we got 26 in here that'll do that'll help us hit land drop also tamio they don't have the mana for tamio yet But I can't really stop them from having the mana for Tamiyo for next turn. We're going to shock this in and try to Bedevil on end step. Try to kill Tamiyo with Bedevil. And then untap Fire Soot. The food tokens are things that are very good to exile to Nicol Bolas' plus one. The immortal Nicol Bolas. But we just gotta fight through him. My intellect is without limit. My internet is definitely with limits. Now I can use Tamiya's ability to go grab my Thought Erasure and Thought Erasure them, and then they then they don't discard a card, and then I'll be sad. Don't 
worry. I got this. I outsmarted you eons ago. Here we go. Don't need that. All right, now I need that again. Acquisition. <laughs> Plot twist. Bullis is Hawkeye in, dis in disguise. Well, that was an amazing game. All set up because of Fires of Invention. More Noxious Grass. More Ritual of Soot. Less Cry of the Carnarium. Less Enter the God Eternal. More Chandra Awakened Inferno. Less Ral. Oh, they're they're gonna be Command the Dread Horde. I need to ego command the dread horde. I don't want to do that, but that definitely makes sense there. They have one in here. Yeah, this is definitely a command the dread horde deck. Interplanar beacon that's gaining life. That thing. Yeah, that's a good call. That's a good call. That card is difficult to to beat. All right, more ego, less. That's true. That card, that card is rough. I'm not gonna play all the egos. I, I think I may play one. Nah. If we get to the point where we have the game locked up, I'll acquisition for ego for that. Good part about acquisition. Uh, this would be a nice Elder Spell matchup. All right, Rochian, have a good night. Oh, Dragon Skull Summit, how I missed you, Checklands. Arena, that card's amazing.
Phyrexian Arena is probably going to kill me. Can't deal with that. We're playing uh, Grixis Control in Historic right now. Of course, I want to get I want to get cards out of my hand because the Castle Lock Twain. Kind of destroyed. Kind of glad they destroyed fires and not as Kanta. Kind of. Are you supposed to duress first? Or at least not let me just exile this Tamio and then you get nothing? Like, shouldn't you activate Tamio first at least? Double Arena. Gosh, I want to put this to the graveyard so we activate Ascanta. But it's a good card. Just, you know, kill this. Oh, I had I had the mana just to act... What am I doing? I could have just activated Nicol Bolas. Should have done that. I don't know what I'm doing with it. No, probably not. I, I probably want to just attack their life total. There we go. Flip. So now they're just dead in a couple of turns. Uh, good old Ascanta, the original Castle Lock Twain. Kind of surprised they didn't keep the Gilded Goose. They can just make food, keep them alive. No, two creatures down to the bottom. Focus and keep an open mind. Hmm. So they have Tamio go get back. They're gonna just Tamio get back Elder Spell. If I play the Dragon God. I don't think I have a better option though. Oh, right, they don't get to draw any more cards because of Narset. Wow, Narset, you great.
probably should have just grabbed the Noxious Grasp instead of, like, you know, there was a Noxious Grasp here instead of the Nickel Bolas and it's not Noxious Grasp. The Jade Light. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. The storied past and have the Nickel Bolas in the deck, still. Another time, Planeswalker. Why do these all have to be right here? Oh, I can't even cast this card. I, I didn't want to get Mastermind. Like, Mastermind's Acquisition was, was like my best card, but I didn't want to grab it because if I just grab it, they would just get Duress and just take it with Duress. And so I wanted to play this that got me two cards, but then, yeah, I don't even get to cast it, so. They're just going to take it anyway. Because that was the problem with acquisition, but I should have just, yeah, I should have acquisitioned and just grabbed grabbed a creature and just go go grab Nicol Bolas, the creature. That's what I should have done. Well, it worked out. Worked out-ish. They get to gain another six life. Three loyalty over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They get to just get. They get to just uh, exile their Phyrexian arenas that they want. Yep. Let your I could minus two, of course, crumble. instead of taking up and letting them do that. I think it's better to to draw though. Yeah, Narset did a ton of work for us. For sure. All right, one to know. One to know. Mm -hmm. 
that was a good match. That was a good match. Narset putting in a ton of work against those Phyrexian Arenas. Yeah, because while Ticking Up did let them get rid of those Phyrexian Arenas, it did just also get towards the Nicol Bolas 8 loyalty, you know, the minus 8 as well. Babito. Well, hope, hope they're a green creature deck. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, is this the same? Oh, oh, this is the same opponent. Oh, well then. No, Phyrexian Arena. Whoa, they got rid of Phyrexian Arena. I guess they just don't. They don't have the black mana. Obviously, we had Fire's Invention the whole time. Of course. Yeah, they just don't have lands. I'm telling you, that goose has an attitude. Oh yeah, I don't need a shock. We can just cast our spells. If they draw a land go now, Golgari Queen. Can take out Narset. I'm hoping they don't. Now our dragon god will exile these things, these food first before we start exiling all those, those permanents and stuff. Hone your prowess. Um. <laughs> yeah, progenitus as protection from everything. Yeah, isn't that crazy that there's an everything? Yeah, you can just have protection from protection from what? Protection from everything. Witness a moat of my power. Yeah, true Nate nemesis, you just choose a player and then you have protection from that player. That thing's so busted in two player games. A three mana three one that they can't do anything against. Yeah, y'all you know, think about like Brazen Bar or Brazen, yeah, Brazen Borrower. Think about Brazen Borrower being a three mana three one, like how that's you know a pretty fast clock. You know, it has flying, so it's it's hard to block and everything like that. 
well, think of Brazen Bar where, you know, you don't have the, you don't have the bounce part, but it's just protection from anything that you can do. It's, you can't block it. It can block your stuff and, and it can block anything and survive. Um, you can't target it. It's just, it's just a three mana, three, one protection from you. Protection from the opponent. So that's pretty brutal. Yeah, so you ha the only way to get rid of it is with a sweeper. Yep. Or make them sacrifice. You know, target player sacrifices a creature, and that's their only creature. Yeah, that was it. Was a it was a commander. It was it was printed in a commander set, and you know, made for commander with you know four player games. You choose one player as protection from that player, but it's legal in Legacy, and so obviously it's just it's a very important part of Legacy, especially when it came out. It dominated right away. Alright, so his Canta will help us hit the land drops. Good fast start for the opponent here. Oh, arena. I'm pretty confident that we'll find a fifth land here before our turn five. Pretty confident. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. You do not get another card. You do not pass go. Contain your rage. I don't get any Narset activations, but we don't really need Narset activations. We're just gonna have Narset be able to be out here. Keeping down this arena. So I like so I like keeping that that fable passage because we do need the fifth land, and so that's a fifth land that also puts a, a card into the graveyard too. So that's pretty nice. I don't like that I have this Bedevil revealed, honestly.
Hmm. You should just cast Drawn from Dreams that last turn to, to look for a land. At six cards over here, I'm probably just flipping the Escanta with almost anything. But obviously, Ritual of Soot is something that we need. But I need the instant speed removal for Wild Growth Walker so they don't gain life. Um. I'll just put both those at the bottom. So that's our second Ritual of Soot, so we have two more. Two more in the next 39. And there we go. Now the Phyrexian Arena kills him. All right, GG's. So that was kind of the plan is to, I had to keep up instant speed removal there that whole time to look for, or to be able to kill the wild growth walker right away. I had to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting just a little bit, but the thing is I could see my opponent waiting a little bit to try to avoid facing me, honestly. So I don't, I, I would I would assume with us winning both of those that my opponent doesn't want to face that matchup. So I, I kind of feel like I'm supposed to join right away and they're going to wait. But, so that's the thing is I don't know if I don't really want to wait also and then we get paired up again. Really hope it's somebody else. Need more people playing Historic. Historic's fun. Yeah, the 2D stand for a donation deck. So we had all donation decks today. So these were all decks that were made by viewers that donated to see their deck played on stream. So I, I did not make the decks for today. Yay, a new opponent. All right, what do we got? We got a pretty good hand. So the Sphinx of Four Sizzle will be able to help set up our draws here. We're basically gonna be looking for Fires of Invention, of course.
your tie's still there. And I don't know the star, what you're referring to with the star. Need to stockpile some more mythic or some more wild cards so you can build Mardu Angels. Heck yeah. Mardu Angels. Put that down too. I need to make that deck here soon. All right, what do we got going on over here? A Leonin Vanguard. I do think that Cry of the Carnarium is probably good against the Leonin Vanguard deck. So let's put these two extra lands down to the bottom. And we'll keep the Cry. Obviously, they can have, like, Pride Make it out of range. Oh, this looks so cute. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time I think I've ever played against somebody using the Dragon Whelp. Urgh. I do not want to see Pride Mate. Well, I guess I have Bedevil for Pride Mate still. <laughs> Dragon Whelp has to be the worst pet? No. Hey, K Control! Getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much there, Kitty Dexterity. Santa Kitty Dexterity gifts him out the sub. I am proud. Uh, that was like the worst case scenario. They got an Ajani Pride Mate that sticks around. They had two things there that, that make them gain life and grow the Pride Mate. So, like, if I bedevil a Johnny, the Pride Mate gets a lot bigger, a lot faster. My best draw, of course, is Ritual of Soot. We're at 10. No, the bottom of my library is just two lands that I don't really want to draw. Oh gosh, a Gideon now? I walk a righteous Good hand here with these Planeswalkers and too many too many blue cards for me over here. Not enough sweepers. Even if we find a Ritual of Soot, the Gideon kills us. Um, I don't think there's anything that saves us. I like our chances here. After sideboard, though. I mean, it's, it's really like the Planeswalkers. Like, the Planeswalkers can kill us. That's about the only thing I'm scared of. What are the other cards we're taking out? Because I, I feel like Enter the God Eternals is better here than what it was before. But I guess Enter the God Eternals may not actually even kill Pride Mate later on. Yet, yeah, it can just go. It's basically here, like, Mono Red is a very popular deck, which is why there's these Enter the God Eternals.
Yeah, cut Narset. I could see that. I don't mind that. It's kind of like Narset and Ascanta. They don't really draw a lot of extra cards, so it's top, the top part of Narset isn't very valuable. I do like how Narset finds fires, though. No, this is historic. There's a lot more mono red in historic than there is in standard. Yeah, we, we talked about how mono red wasn't in the, the metagame in standard, but in historic it is. Is there a good combo deck with Niv Mizzet Perun? Um, not really a combo deck with it. Um. Howdy, folks. This <laughs> uh, commercials. Yeah, team of reclamation. This is it alliance deck that I played. Like, I guess I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Played so much magic recently. Hard to say. Double a Johnny Strength of the Pride. It did not have Niv Mizzet right away, but I realized the the folly of my ways and put in Niv Mizzet afterwards. If you look at like the deck list at the end, we have Niv Mizzet in there. Cool. <clears throat> well, we're even closer to a Ritual of Soot now. My plan is to set these things, Bedevil the Ajani. Before drawing the Bedevil, I would have just played Sphinx here and not played the Acquisition. So I would have just had Sphinx for like a blocker that um, first. But after drawing the Bedevil, now I want to be able to Soot and Bedevil this turn. You're welcome, Ogre. And yeah, if you're new, if you're new to Magic, also, I recommend checking out the just the level one piece on the Wizards website about um, just about kind of like an intro to Magic and a lot of things just about the game. Even though it's it was written a few years ago, it's still just a really good introductory. Um, series with a whole lot of good content. Of course, they want to draw a land to be able to activate Resplendent Angel. I want them to draw small creatures that we cry the Carnarium away. They just draw 3-3 three, three into 3-3. Three, three. I don't like that. Yeah, exact, exactly. Kaxlot, there's...
Uh, Magic's a tough game. Like, there's there's a lot of things that go into it. You, it's not just... it's not Magic's not just a linear curve of the... Like, you always win more because you, you play... You've played more than what you've played before kind of thing. It's not like, okay, well, this month I won... You know, 40% of my matches. Now next month I'm going to win 45%. Now the next month I win 50%. You know, it it can can certainly go up and down, and everything. It's there's there's variance in it. So don't don't get disheartened if you're having a, a bad a bad streak with the game. It's going to happen. It happens to me. It happens to everybody. My intellect is without limit. Can turn around at any time. What? There? Siegebreaker, you said Theros has dredge? I would be shocked if Theros had dredge. Yeah, it's same in life, too. That's true. Oh, just the escape thing of how you can cast... Yeah, escape It looks really powerful. Recasting stuff in your graveyard, that looks really powerful. Well, dredge, dredge put cards from your graveyard into your. I'm sorry, for, dredge put cards from your library into your graveyard. Escape doesn't do that. Oh, thought erasures, please help. We need to draw lands, and we need to draw a sweeper, and. Yeah, that. So there's there's a land. We want to draw a land, sweeper. Those would be the two things we'd like to draw. Preferably Ritual of Sit for a sweeper, but how it's looking, Cry the, Cry the Carnarium's not looking bad. Well, there's the Ritual of Sit. Now we need to draw one more land. We're, of course, casting this Thought, thought Erasure to look for the fourth land. So if, we, if we hit the fourth land, I will be pretty happy where we're at unless they draw Gideon this turn. That's scary. All right, well, we got one draw step. We got to hit a land here. Untap land. That's not a land. Oh no. Land we win. It's not land we lose. Land. No, not land. Well, darn. Pretty positive we would win if we would have hit a land there. You know, even if like a shock land would have been fine. But pretty sure there's there's not really any draws that they're that like they're gonna be able to come back if we just drew that one land. All right, two and one. So close to a three zero. Our twenty six land deck let us down. Let us down. Oh, that that gifted sub earlier. We hit we hit our sub goal here. We're at ten subs on the day, so that's another sub goal towards our next twelve hour stream. As y'all know, we did the twelve hour stream yesterday. Played a whole lot of awesome decks and whatever y'all missed from the twelve hour stream yesterday. Hope you check that out on the YouTube channel if you're kind of newer to the 
If you're a newer watcher, I do have the YouTube channel where all of the, the replays go up there, including the decks that we've already played today. They are, they are all already up there. They go up right away. Right, we'll go in towards another one here. Cags, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Brand new tier one sub. That is awesome. Thank you so much there, Cags. Really appreciate that support. Now I get to use all those awesome emotes in chat. All right, rule. Um, I think I'm just going to be bedeviling the Pelt Collector here. Don't really have to worry about Veil of Summer. We'll just see what they do. But I'm pretty sure we're just going to bedevil the Pelt Collector and hope to draw land and play Ravager. Could have gone as Kanta to, to be able to help us hit the land drop, but like getting some pressure out of here. All right, now we're going as Kanta. Help hit land drops. Narset doesn't hit land drops. One more land drop. Let's enter the God Eternals in here. That was a good turn. Alright, we gotta hit this land. Should have blocked the questing beast. I guess. I don't like Cry as much. Eh, Cry is still okay. I do like Enter. This is a good Enter the God Eternal matchup. The problem with blocking the questing beast was they're one man away from that thorn that thorn lieutenant activating and and like that thorn lieutenant was about to be a four or five so i i mean i don't regret not blocking questing beast honestly like that thorn lieutenant was going to be a really big threat and of course we know that we knew that they were going to be playing the other four three i liked i liked having like questing beast was just such a good enter the god eternals target it was just pretty perfect to, to target that thing. No, I'm already no, this is not an unward ego matchup. This is way, way too fast for unward ego. You only play unward ego against co combo decks or really slow control decks. Never play it against a, a fast deck. Never play it against decks that are playing creatures early. Because they'll just kill you with other creatures while you unward ego something else. Lands are betraying us. I don't like seeing that. Land War Elf is the, the fastest turn one card that they have. Honestly, our hand doesn't do anything.
if I play Ravager, and they could have like the the Domer's ambush kill it. I do like their last two turns though. These last two turns have not been good. Hmm. I think I need this as Kansa to, to help me get more gas. Collision Colossus? I mean, they could just collision the Nickel Bolus anyway. Alright, Cleave. I'm not gonna pay the two life to draw one card. I don't think that that's gonna be worth it. Of course, I was holding back the 4-4 four four on defense there, just in case. <laughs> wow, these lands are really, um, These lands really are betraying us. We're down to one. And the Nicol Bolas is dead. Yeah, tomorrow's yeah, best of one day. Um I do have a I do have one best of three donation deck to do tomorrow. GG's. If all right, so if they if they don't top deck that, like let's say they you know draw a land or whatever, I was going to so what I was going to do here my next turn, I was going to minus four bring back this nickel bolus, put this nickel bolus into play, that nickel bolus I was then going to activate and um and uh, make it a Planeswalker, and then that Planeswalker I was going to then activate and put the other Nicol Bolas into play. So we were going to be able to have, uh, we were going to still be able to keep our Nicol Bolas Planeswalker in play with a Nicol Bolas over here too. And then plus, of course, our Ascanta was going to hopefully help find some spell to play. But so I was going to do, like, we were going to have a, a cool little trick there with the Nicol Boluses that we were about to have. Yeah, Ember Ember Cleave is heck of a card, and so is Questing Beast. Um, the thing that you know, like it didn't didn't seem like it at the time, but just how it ended up, the turn I played Nickel Bolas the Ravager. If I would have played, I had that and stood at the same time. If I would have just stood away the two Land War Elves. Maybe would would have enough. Maybe would have had enough life to stabilize. But, alas. Yeah, didn't face a control matchup. Uh, I think we have a lot of good stuff against control here. There, there seems to be a lot of good stuff against control, especially sideboard with the four war boss, three eco, you know, the Chandra over here. Uh, I don't like the, as far as cards, I don't like the Rao. I don't think this card's good enough for Historic. I would rather have Chandra over here or even Liliana. Um, I think Liliana is better against aggro decks and stuff than Rao is. I just, I don't think Rao's good enough. I'd rather have 
um, another Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Uh, but but I think probably one of the six mana walkers. I think either just a Liliana or a Chandra. I think both those, like there's a lot of aggro. I think Liliana's minus of, you know, sacrifice two creatures is, is really important or the plus of just making chump blockers. I don't think the Rao's good enough. I would I would get rid of Rao. Um, besides that... Besides that, everything else seemed pretty good. Yeah, like we were, you know, like we were just real close. Like both of those losses were real close. I think that this does look pretty decent in the, in the aggro matchups. I felt pretty comfortable in those aggro matchups. So the, the one card I wanted to replace definitely was the Rao, though. Either Chandra, if counterspells are big, or Liliana. One of those two instead. Chandra could take out other Planeswalkers. Uh, I guess the other thing is, I I think that we I think there should probably be, if you could find room one rich one uh, Elder spell in the sideboard, that you could maybe grab with like the Mastermind's acquisition to be able to kill somebody with Dragon God, or just there are some Planeswalker decks in the metagame. You know, Esper Control plays all the Teferis. Um, the Kethis combo deck, you know, plays a lot of Planeswalkers. There's more Planeswalkers here in Historic than in Standard. And so I think that one Elder Spell could be nice in the sideboard. I don't have a great uh, place to fit that. It'd maybe have to be over... It'd probably have to be over either the third Ego or the fourth War Boss or the Duress. It has to be in one of those slots. It'd have to be in one of these 10 slots that the War Boss, Ego, and Duress fill up. I mean, could it be instead of the Chandra if you don't... If, like, this if this Chandra just goes to the main deck instead of the Rao, it could be there. You could just have Elder Spell there. Yeah, or it could... You could then, you know, you can put some, some big card back in here if you want instead of the Duress, instead of the third Duress. Mana base uh, felt just fine. Yeah, it felt just fine. I, I, t I myself would probably go more shock and then a lot more, a lot more of the, the buddy lands. I like the buddy lands a lot because they don't do damage to you. But it felt it just it felt just fine. No complaints. But if you if. If you're playing more and you're kind of struggling more with it, uh, like Basic Mountain is like Basic Mountain is a, a really bad card, and like yeah, Basic Mountain is just pretty bad. Fable Passages aren't really that great. Could see more, um, a couple more Buddy Lands. Anyway, there we go. That's Grixis Control in Historic. Fun to play, and I, I think that this this deck can be pretty good against the aggro decks and as you saw there we played against a lot of aggro a lot of creature decks in historic and i think this has some good tools there fires invention was awesome all right those of you all watching on youtube uh let me know what you think about the deck in the comments uh, if you're trying it out over there let me know uh let me know what you think about it. what are you doing in historic also what are you having fun with in the format um, i've been really enjoying playing historic myself whenever we've played it the last few days but uh, besides that, hit that like button over there. Subscribe, all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching some Grixis Control, though. I appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.